The 556 Icarus is a beamer in Warzone 2.0. It has a fast fire rate, a good TTK, and it is great from range. Now the downfall for this gun, it has a slow reload and the lack of movement, but that's what you expect from an LMG, but still it would dominate in a Sheikah Island. And I'm telling you right now, we had the best build for you to make sure you stick around. Full squad, full squad. One down, two down. Down, one. Dead, let's go, baby. <laughs> let's go, man. Hey, what's going on, guys? For those who don't know, these videos are straight to the points. We're gonna break everything down and give you the best 556 Icarus build right now. So make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and share this to your fellow teammates. You guys can dominate. Let's go. All right, guys, so let's break this down. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the muzzle. You're gonna go ahead and use the Harbinger D20 for the sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, and the recoil smoothness, okay? For the tuning, I'm gonna go ahead and bump it all the way up to about 1.15, okay? It's gonna help with my range, my recoil, and my damage, okay? Then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and bump up the bullet velocity, put about 0.85 on this one, okay? And again, it's gonna help with my range that I need for this LMG. After that, for the barrel, I'm gonna use the F-Tech Cold Forge 16 inch barrel for the damage range and the bullet velocity that I'm gonna need for this LMG in Warzone 2.0. With the tuning, I'm gonna go ahead and bump it all the way up for those 0.50 for the recoil steadiness. And I'm gonna go ahead and max out the damage range. I'm gonna really hurt my accuracy at all, but it's gonna help with my range and my damage that I need for this LMG. All right, for the next one, it's gonna be an under barrel. It's gonna help with my recoil. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the F-Tech Ripper to help with the aim and idle stability and the recoil stabilization okay now i'm gonna go ahead and max out the recoil stabilization and max out the aim and idle stability it's gonna help with my recoil and my accuracy and it's gonna give me the best when it comes to horizontal and vertical recoil control okay after that i'm not gonna worry about a mag because it already has a 75 round mag and especially with the fast ttk you don't need uh to have put a bigger mag on this gun at all okay all right so the next attachment i'm gonna put a stock on this lmg and i'm gonna use the factory stock to give me that aiming idle stability and that recoil control okay for the tuning i'm gonna go ahead and bump down and go and help the ads be so i'm gonna bump 0.20 okay and then i'm gonna go ahead and aim, increase my aiming idle stability to help with my accuracy okay and it's gonna give me the best for aiming down sight speed and the recoil control and the last one will be the optic and you guys already know a lot of us use the aim opv4 it's part one of the best sites in the game if you're playing at shika island i pretty much leave it the way it is if you play on big map, I'm going to go ahead and bump it all the way up to far. And it's going to help me on the big map. So there you go, Royal Family. That is my 556 Icarus build to use in Warzone 2.0. This gun is insane. Fast fire rate, good TTK, and great bullet velocity. So guys, if any of this helped you out at all, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell to be part of the Nodi Gang of the Royal Family so you guys don't miss out on any Warzone videos that we drop on this channel. I will catch you guys in the next one. You guys take care. Much love. Peace out.